welcome to the show today. Jesse's got his uh, 50K glasses on. Yeah. Top gun, top G. Well, our future is very bright. I don't know why that pump, that recent pump, made me feel more bullish than usual. There was so much force behind it. Yeah. And um, with everything that's been happening, and I have had somebody say to me again, you're lucky you got into Bitcoin early. Luck had nothing to do with it. There is no luck involved. This has been a very committed path for a long time. And so I'm going to play this clip for you, Jess. Tell me what you think. How does one convince themselves that what they're doing and working on is worth it? The question of worth it is reliant on an outcome. We don't make these things for an outcome. It's, a, it's, it's not the mindset to make something great. The outcome happens. You're making the best thing you can make. It's a, it's a devotional practice. Whatever happens after that happens. And that part that happens after it is completely out of your control. Putting any energy into that part that's out of your control, it's a waste of time. I saw that clip and it kind of reminded me of our journey through crypto that mm -hmm. I didn't know the outcome years ago. I, I got involved with everything. And anyone that knows me, I've been all in passionately learning relentlessly without knowing an outcome. So I felt like that clip kind of spoke to that. It's like they say, right? It's about the journey, not the destination. Yeah. And then furthermore, if you can enjoy the journey, that's probably a good way to compact the probability of a good outcome. The outcome, the outcome. Thailand. They recently slashed all their uh, crypto trade tax. Ah. Licensed brokers and dealers will also be exempted. Right. It was going to be a 7% value added tax, but it is no more the case. I have this theory that Asia will go through a renaissance almost, um, where they're way more flexible and adaptable to change and they will attract the brains of the world that are so restricted in their own homeland. So um, I think that sort of news is really cool to see. It creeps me out because when you said that, I started thinking of the scene from uh, The Creator. I don't know if you've seen that movie yet. No. It's a lot of it is set in Southeast Asia and, and a lot of it was shot in, in like Phuket or places nearby, but there's these scenes of American imperial armies coming in and like missiling these little towns. Thailand coming out and saying, uh, we're not going to tax you on your crypto, it's all good. And then you got America, you got all these old feeble vampires being like, no, crypto. You have to be flexible and adaptable and, and countries that are not, then they will lose their talent. And yeah, that's that's very obvious that that's happening as well. So yeah. super interesting. What else is on the cards for you this week? Did you, did you have some music things happening? Yeah, I've talked about gala games before and uh, how I run a node and I've been a, a, a kind of an investor slash supporter of gala for a couple of years now. And um, up until a little over a year ago, it was just games. And then they upgraded to music, kind of their own version of Spotify, but with NFTs. I got one of my songs, Wake Up, which uh, we did a music video for. That one is coming out. Well, I think by the time this is out, people watching it, you can just check it out. So I'll, I'll show a link right here. To me, it's this kind of another level where it, it feels like this, this really well-built, structured platform and you apply and if they accept your music, then they set it up and it looks like, Spot it looks like Spotify. Right, um, right. And, and the payout system and just the way it all, it's, it's very sleek and, um, and... And the user experience is quite smooth, which is important. Very, very. very. Yeah. And, you know, I use Gala for gaming and because uh, there's a lot of play to earn now. When you go down these paths of exploratory crypto stuff, are you highly vigilant with scam stuff? Because I did want to alert people to that. I got emails and I think you've recently got the same. There's two different airdrops that were being like heavily pushed in my email for Ave and also for ZK Sinks, uh, you know, some roll up thing. Trust me, airdrops are so popular that you'll know when it's real because everyone is posting yes. about it. Everyone on Twitter, everyone you know, they're nonstop talking about this new airdrop. Pump, pump, yep. pump, 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 pump. You'll know. Yeah, and the two examples right now on ZK Sync that my friend sent me. So one was the text from an email 
and one was like a list of emails that showed up. You can already see that ZK Sync is spelled with a C in the real protocol and these scam ones are spelled with a K on the end. And that would go especially when, you know, we're looking at um, crypto that's increasing in prices. Anyone needs to just be super vigilant with clicking links. You know, people like Mark Cuban that got, you know, completely drained of their assets. Uh, and Mark Cuban's this guy who's talking about crypto on the daily mm-hmm. and, he, and he gets like simple hacked too. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you got that that guy who lost his board ape that was supposed to be like the star of a television show. Oh, I don't know um, that one. Was it Seth Green, I think? Okay. Uh, who basically lost his star acting board ape. That was meant to... It's just like, it's if you think that you are immune to hackers and scammers because you're tech savvy, then you're already like screwing yourself because yes. I don't think that I'm immune. Luckily, I'm immune. Then I saw a tweet from Marathon Digital. They are a stock, a Bitcoin mining company, and they had people impersonating them. It's just rampant at the moment. And speaking of Marathon Digital, I started to put some deployment into these two companies, Mara and Riot. Bitcoins have to be mined through computer systems and verified in networks, and that takes a lot of computing power. I've decided to deploy a little tiny bit of equity into those companies. They're highly risky. So there's only, I've only put in amount I'm willing to see do nothing. Um, But also the upside is massive. I'm just going to show you the Riot chart and the Mara chart, the Marathon Digital, um, just to give you an idea of why I've started to DCA into these companies. So this is the weekly chart with uh, Riot. It's so, so much history that look at this, if I zoom right down to 2007, went crazy. Um, So it was a tech company that has been dormant for a long time. Um, But now that they're getting into Bitcoin mining, we're down here on the chart and I've been dollar cost averaging around here. So between 10 and 15. And again, I'm putting in an amount I am willing to see do nothing and I'm okay with that. But I also know that the upside, even if it reaches um, the most local all time high is around 80. So it's $15 at the moment. And because I believe in Bitcoin, I'm going to deploy some money into this as well. And, And that again is a conviction play. And I'm also okay with the downside. Okay, this is the Marathon Digital Holdings. That's This is their chart, very similar, about to, to showing some life. And again, this is around $25. And I, you know, if, I, if that got to $100, I'd be really happy. And I'm there to hold it for the cycle, the bull cycle for Bitcoin for now. What do you trade that on? Yeah, there's plenty of apps, investment apps. There's a lot of, it depends what country you're in. So you'll have to do some homework and find out where you can buy American stocks through. And that's not such an easy process all the time, but there's there's plenty of- Unless um, you're in America. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's plenty of platforms you can buy these stocks on. So you'll just have to get your teeth stuck into some research. Doing my own research. Bitcoin going up is like the big barometer of everyone's excitement now. Mm -hmm, Uh, mm -hmm. It's definitely on top of the list. It was like, it was kind of like that video I did where Pomp was saying, Bitcoin has become Wall Street's favorite asset. Uh, It's, it, 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 it doesn't, uh, uh, uh. I think the people he was talking to, the reason he made that face, because no one had an answer to that. It was like, they didn't know if they would be like shunned for agreeing but it was so obvious, so they didn't know what to say. Show's over. We'll see you next week. Yeah, happy happy Chinese New Year, Year of the Dragon. Oh yeah, Year of the Dragon.
Bitwaves. Bitwaves.